Hello friends in this part we have start next topic in inventory management system by using PHP with Ajax query and in this part we will make profile page for change or edit or update user details like username, user email and password. In previous part we have already discussed database structure of this system and we have also make login page for this system, after login into system it will be redirect to index page. And for make dynamic index page we have divided into three different part like header.php, footer.php and index.php. This is for use same header and footer on all page so we have make header in different part and footer in different part. In header we have make menu like user, category, brand, product and order page. We have also make write menu also and in write menu we have link profile page and logout page. Now we have go to profile.php page and on this page first we want to make database connection, so under this page we have write include statement with database connection.php. This code will make database connection on this page. After this we want to restrict user to directly access this page without login to system, so we have write if statement and under condition we have write not operator with this it function with dollar session type variable. This condition will check if this session type variable value is not set that means user is not login into system, then it will execute if block of code. So suppose dollar session type variable value is not set then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write header function with location set to login.php page. It will redirect user to login page if user directly access this page. After this we want to get particular user details who has login into system. So we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from user details table where user it is equal to dollar session user read variable. This is simple select which will fetch particular user details from user details table. Below this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable. This statement will prepare query for execution. Now we want to execute this query, so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. This method will execute prepare statement query. After this we want to fetch a result of query execution, so we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. This method will fetch result and store into dollar result variable. Below this we have defined three variable like dollar name variable, dollar email variable. In this variable we will store user details like username into dollar name variable user email into dollar email variable. Now we want fetch data from dollar result variable so we have write for each loop with dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop we have write dollar name variable is equal to dollar row username variable. Below this we have write dollar email variable is equal to dollar row user email variable. This way we have store user details in both variable. After this on profile page we have write include statement with header.php page. This code will include header.php code under this page. So on this page menu will be included from header.php page. Now we have moved to make edit profile form, so here we have write form tag with attribute method is equal to post, it is equal to edit profile form. This it we will use in query code as selector. 
Under this form first we have define one span tag with attribute it is equal to message, under this tag we will display success or error message on web page. After this we have write input tag with attribute type is equal to text name is equal to username, it is equal to username and value is equal to echo statement with dollar name variable and lastly we have write required attribute for validation. Under this text box login user can see his or her name and here we have write required attributes, so this field is required to fill. Below this we have write input tag with attribute type is equal to email, name is equal to user email, it is equal to user email, required attribute and value is equal to echo statement with dollar email variable. Here we have use HTML5 input email tag for validate email and here we have also write required, so this field is required to fill and here login user can see his or her email. After this we have write input tag with attribute type is equal to password, name is equal to use a new password, it is equal to use a new password. If you user want to change his or her password then he can change his password under this tag. But suppose user do not want to change password then user can leave this tag as blank, then at that time user password will not be changed. For validate enter password is proper or not, so here we have again write input type is equal to password, name is equal to user re-enter password. It is equal to user re enter password. So for validate user enter password is proper or not will be validate based on this tag value. Below this we have write span tag with attribute it is equal to error password. So if user enter wrong password and re enter password field, then error will be display under this tag. Lastly we have write input type is equal to submit button, name is equal to edit profile, it is equal to edit profile and value is equal to edit. User can submit edit profile form details by click on this button. Now we have moved to write query code for submit edit profile form, so here we have write dollar with form mid edit profile form with on method and under this method we have write submit event with function, so when form has been submitted then this code will execute. Under this first we have write event dot prevent default method. This method will stop to submit form to server. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar with password enter text box it use a new password with value method is not equal to blank. This condition will check this text box has value or not. If this text box has value then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar text box it use a new password with value method not equal to dollar text box it use a re enter password with value method. This condition will check if both text box value is same or not. If both text box value is not same then it will execute if block of code otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose if text box value is not same then it will execute if block code and under this block we have write dollar with span tag it error password with HTML method and under this we have write password not match error message. But suppose both password text box has same value then it will execute else block of code and under this we have write dollar with span tag it error password with HTML method with blank value. After this we want to disable submit button, so we have write dollar with button it edit profile with attribute method with two argument like disabled, this code will disable submit button.
Below this we have write form data variable is equal to dollar this serialize method. This method will convert form field data to URL encoded sting and store into form data variable. Now we have start write Ajax request and under this we have write URL option set to edit profile.php page. Here we have send request to edit profile.php page. In second option we have write method option, in this option we can define which method we should use for send form data to server, so here we have use post method for send form data to server. In third option we have write data, in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have write form data variable in which we have store form data in URL encoded string. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called if Ajax request completed successfully and this function will receive data from server which we can access from this data argument. Under this function first we want to enable submit button, so we have write dollar with button it edit profile with attribute method with two argument, in first argument. After this we have write dollar with password text box it use a new password with value method with blank value. This will clear password text box. Then after we have write dollar with password text box it use a re-enter password with value method with blank value. This will clear re-enter password text box field. Lastly we want to display success or error message under span tagged message, so we have write dollar with span tagged message with HTML method and under this method we have write data argument. Now we have go to edit profile.php page and on this page first we want to make database connection, so we have write include statement with database connection.php page. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post username variable, this condition will check if this username variable value is set or not. If value is set then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar post use a new password variable value is not equal to blank. If user want to change password, then it will execute if block of code and if user do not want change password then it will execute else block of code. Suppose user want to change password then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar query variable is equal to update user details set username is equal to dollar post username variable. User email variable is equal to dollar post email variable. User password is equal to password has method with two argument like dollar post use a new password and password default, where user read is equal to dollar session user read variable. This update query will execute if user want to change password and here we want to store encrypted password. So here we have use password hash method. But suppose user do not want to change password then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write dollar query variable is equal to update user details table set username is equal to dollar post username variable. User email is equal to dollar post user email variable where user it is equal to dollar session user read variable. This update query will execute if user do not want to change password then this update query will execute. Now we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable. This prepare statement will make query for execution. After this we want to execute update query, so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, this method will execute query.
Below this we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement with fetch all method. This method will fetch query execution result and store into dollar result variable. Now we want to check profile updated or not. So if statement and under condition we have write is it function with dollar result variable. This condition will check if this dollar result variable value is set or not. If dollar result variable value is set then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write echo statement with message like profile edited. This message will be seen on web page. Now our code is ready so we have save this code and check output in browser. Friends first we have load index page in browser and it redirect to login page and here we have login with user user details like email donia huber at gmail.com and in password field we have enter password and click on login button. After login page has been redirect to index page and on index page we can see menu like user, category, brand, product and order. On right side we can see other username Donia Huber with drop down menu. And in this menu we can see profile link. So we can see profile page and under this page we can see form field with user details fill. Suppose we want to change password. So in first password text box we have enter test and click on edit profile button. So we have received this field is required message on web page. So we have fill second password field and in this we have enter text one and click on edit profile button. But now we have received error message like password not match on web page. So now we have enter test in re enter password text box and click on edit profile button. After clicking on button we have received success message like profile has been edited. Now we have log out from system and again log in into system by entering new edited password. So we have entered onyahuber at gmail.com in email and in password we have enter test and click on login button. So we have successfully log in into system with updated password. Now we have again go to profile page and now we want to change only email, so here we have change email and click on edit profile button. So this way we can change or edit profile with password or without password by using PHP script with Ajax query in this part. In next part we will discuss user module and in that we will discuss user details in query data table with add new user, edit existing user details and active inactive user login. This all details we will discuss in next part. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.